Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to reset your PC using the cloud install version for Windows 11. So when you reset your PC, what it's pretty much doing is reinstalling Windows and there are two options, uh, cloud and local, and then of course you have the option to keep your files or have everything wiped out, so we'll be showing you that as well. Okay, so this computer here is running 22H2 with this build number here. So if we were to use the local reinstall, it should be the same version when we're done. And the cloud version, we're assuming, will update it to whatever the latest version is. So we will find that out after we're done. Okay, so we're going to go back out the system here. And then recovery. And now there are two options here. The reset this PC, what we're going to do. And then there's also the advanced startup. So if you want to boot your computer to kind of see if it could fix some startup settings or restore a system restore point, that type of thing, you could choose that. But we're going to click on reset this PC. All right, so we have two options to keep your files or remove everything. So even if you choose keep your files or keep my files, it will remove the apps and settings, but keep your personal files. And whichever method you choose, you should do a manual backup of your files first because you never know what's going to happen. You can't just assume that this will work out correctly for you. Okay, but we're going to keep the files, so we're going to click this option. All right, so now we have the cloud download and the local reinstall. So this will reinstall Windows from this device, and this will download Windows and then reinstall it. So this will take longer, so we'll click on that. Click on Next. Okay, so it's going to change settings back to the defaults, keep the personal files, download and reinstall Windows, remove all apps and programs. Then if you want to see what apps will be removed, you can click on this. And it kind of tells you there. So this computer is just a test computer, so there are not a lot of uh, specialty apps on there besides the ones that just come with Windows. Okay, so we're going to click on Reset. So you can see it's downloading and then the device will restart a few times and it'll actually go through the installation. So this can take a long, long time since it has to download all the files and then reinstall. So we will pause the video and then be back when it is finished. All right, so you can see it downloaded 100%. So that took a little bit of time. And then once the download is finished, it will do the install. So we'll be back for that. Okay, so now we're at resetting this PC. So this is going to take some time as well. So we'll let this run and then be back for the next step. Okay, so we're restarting again. Okay, next step of the installation. So it says the computer may restart a few more times. All right, restarting once again. All right, so we're at a login screen, so let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's going to go through this process like you normally see when you configure a new user in Windows or when you log in for the first time. So even though it's not a new user account, it still has to set up this user profile for the uh, new version of Windows here. So this takes a few minutes, so we'll be back when this is done. All right, so now we're back in Windows, but it looks like we need to configure the display since it's kind of large here. But let's go to the settings first. And let's go back to about. All right, so as you can see, we're still on 22H2. And as of this recording, 24H2 is the latest version, and we're still on the same build number. So if you were thinking that doing the cloud version was going to upgrade you to the latest and greatest, that's not the case. What it's really meant to do is to make sure you have uh, new files that were downloaded. So just in case you have some corruption or something is wrong uh, with the files local to your computer, it's not going to use those files. It'll actually download some new files. So that's the main difference between doing the cloud install and the local install. But either way, it works the same. Uh, just the cloud install will take longer because it has to download some new files. All right, so once again, you just go to System. 
recovery, reset this PC. Then you just choose to keep your files or remove everything. Most likely keep your files, but like I said, do a backup first. And then just choose if you want the cloud download or the local reinstall. And then you just have to pretty much wait for it to reboot a bunch of times. And then you should be up and running. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.